everyone, Dylan Lott here with another Substance Painter tutorial. We're going to be taking a look at the burn effect here on the end of this piece. Um, a couple people have asked me about the approach and actually it's really quick and really easy to set up. So let's take a look at how I've approached that here. I have a gray metal fill layer with a black mask to isolate the areas I want to affect. And it is just the base metal material here in Substance Painter. I've adjusted the uh, procedural effects to get something I like. And then I also have put a dirt generator on it to give me some roughness variation and that sort of thing. And to get the color effect here, all I have is a normal layer where I've gone in and I found reference online of this sort of effect and I've just painted it in on one layer. Typically when I'm texturing, um, what I'll do is I'll have a bunch of fill layers so I can, you know, use procedural masking and generators and, uh, you know, have a lot more control through the sliders and that sort of thing. But in this case, it kind of works against us. And uh, that's because there are several different colors going on here in this small area. And imagine that you'd have to have a bunch of fill layers with a bunch of masks, and you'd be painting masks out all day just for something that is very straightforward, right? So it's not worth the trouble, in my opinion. So what I have is just a normal layer. And uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I will show you how to do it from scratch. So I'm just going to turn this off here real quick. I'm just going to create a normal layer. Uh, make sure your symmetry is turned on, and I've hidden the plane. Um, and what I'm going to do is turn off my height, my rough, my metal, and my normal. All we want to do is affect the color. We already have our roughness and metal information from the base metal material. We just want to affect the color. So I'm going to open up my color picker here. I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool, and I'm going to navigate over to the reference I have. And I'll just show you really quick. I just Googled burnt steel, and I'm actually picking off of this reference. There's, there's several ones here, and you can go with whatever you like. Uh, stylistically, however you want to approach it, it's up to you. So I'm going to get this blue material here, and I'm just going to go ahead and start to paint in. And I'm going to turn my brush hardness up a little bit so I can get a stronger effect here. And, you know, just follow your reference. Put it in the areas where, you know, it seems most logical and where it makes the most sense based on your reference. Um, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's no real trick to it, um, but it can give you a pretty cool effect. So let's grab some, maybe some sort of purple here. I'll go ahead and paint that on behind the blue. And that might be a little strong, so I'll turn down my brush hardness and maybe lighten the color up just a little bit. Let's take a look. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. So I'll put a little bit of purple here. And let's see. Maybe a little bit of the red. So let me find the red here. Pink, rather. And uh, as I mentioned, there's no real trick to this. It's just a matter of finding quality reference. And I really suggest putting it on just a normal layer. Um, if you approach it with fill layers, you're going to be painting out masks all day. And uh, you could just save yourself a lot of time just by using a normal layer. So. Let me just uh, get a little bit of orange here and put this around here. And uh, if you, you know, you can see it doesn't look super good right now. Uh, what I suggest at this point is if you're having trouble getting it to blend is turn down your brush hardness. Uh, turn it down really low and just kind of, you know, softly paint in and use, you know, a pen pressure if you have that available just to blend these layers together a little bit better. Um, and I'm sure from this that you can extrapolate, you know, just refining this a little bit and uh, getting it to where you like it. And again, just finding quality of reference will, will go a long way in this particular thing. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any other questions on how to approach anything in this piece or how to re refine this, you know, please drop me a comment um, and uh, we can go from there. Thank you for watching.